change. So I did something. I created a black business accelerator at Amazon. And now we have a program that's dedicated to making tomorrow a better day for black businesses. I am Tiffany, and this is just the beginning. I want to no. try cutting it off to no the clip is already brought. Pizza on the table. We can all agree with that. <laughs> Whatever those are, they're not finished. Close captioning brought to you by Sucko on Law. Call 800-919-2100 today. As with Loyola victims, call now. $30 billion in trust money has been set aside. You may be entitled to a portion of that money. Call 1-800-919-2100. That's 1-800-919-2100. Talk about taking flight. More than 10 million people went through the TSA checkpoints at the nation's airports over the holiday weekend. Over to D.C. and Pete Lentine at the Reagan National Airport. Pete, how does that compare to the pre-pandemic numbers? It's so interesting here, Robin, because some days over this long holiday weekend were actually bigger than the same day back in 2019 before the pandemic. The TSA screened 2.1 million people at airports across the country on Thursday and Friday, and then again on Monday. Monday, the third busiest day of the pandemic. But what's so interesting are those Thursday and Friday numbers. Those numbers were actually bigger than before the pandemic on the same day back in 2019. It really speaks to this whole notion of pent-up demand. People have been waiting on the sidelines to go travel. And some of this most interesting part of this is 